Hey friends, welcome to the Taking Your Next Step podcast from Collegians for Christ. Through each episode, we will journey together focusing on becoming better followers of Jesus. If you're eager, like I am, to follow Jesus Christ, then take your next step now by joining us in today's episode. So we're continuing in our podcast. We're going to take one more week to just sit, hit the pause button, really. We're going to jump back into the attributes of God, the perfections of God next week. Uh, we want to continue just kind of hitting the pause button to re-examine or reevaluate where we have been, where we are, and where we are going. Now, when we began the new direction for the podcast a little bit over a year ago, we picked a word, and we wanted to emphasize that word continuously throughout the year, and that word was, do you remember? It was being intentional. So we emphasize that over and over and over. Nothing happens by accident. We're going to have to be intentional. If we're going to take our next step, if we're going to be a follower of Jesus Christ, you and I have to plan. If we don't plan, then we're planning to fail. That's what Benjamin Franklin said, and rightly so. I know if I don't write it down, it typically does not happen. If I do not schedule it, I may forget about it. If I do not plan it, then it may not happen and I may forget about it and therefore I'm not going to accomplish the desires and the plans and the goals that I have. For this upcoming year, I want to think about this phrase. It's not a word, but this phrase and it is what difference does it make? As we go through each episode, as we go through the truths we find in Scripture, as we look at our Christian life, as we look at our faith, I want us to examine it in this light. What difference does it make? Jesus, uh, as he spoke on the uh, uh, Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapters 5 through 7, uh, he sums it up there at the very end with four verses of Scripture. I want to read those to us. I want to just pull a few thoughts from that. He says this, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it was and it fell, and great was the fall of it. So as we read passages of Scripture, as we continue reading the teachings of Jesus, as we continue to encourage ourselves to uh, take our next step, to grow in our faith, to learn more about God. I mean, the whole idea of the learning about the attributes of God is learning who God is so that you and I can have a correct concept of God so that when times get hard, we truly know who God is. We can run back to the truths we know to be true about God. The attributes of God are just ways you and I can talk about Him, describe Him, learn about Him. But what difference does all that make? Well, that makes a lot of difference in our life. And Jesus comes here and He speaks to this great multitude of people and He sums up at the very end and He gives some very hard teachings through Matthew 5, 6, 7 uh, about how to pray, about how to love our enemies. Uh, uh, just about how to act as disciples, what we're going to receive. Uh, straight is the gate, narrow is the way. There's going to be many people, but few that are going to desire salvation. And we see all these hard teachings, and he sums it up here with this idea of us building a house. We can build it on two foundations, he says. One is upon a rock, and one is upon the sand. Now, if you've ever lived in a, a rocky area, maybe a mountainous area, it doesn't take long when you go down to build a house to, to find rock, to find bedrock, to establish a building on. Uh, when you live in towards the coast, you live in these sandy areas, uh, and I have the uh, I've had the potential, or the privilege to live in the mountains where there's a lot of rock. I've had the privilege to live on the east coast of North Carolina where it's more sandy. Uh, and the soil is different. And I see the sand goes and it moves and it washes easy. But here Jesus said you have two people and they have two choices of foundations. One is upon a rock, one is upon sand. The interesting thing here is uh, the rains descended, the floods came, the winds blew, and they both beat upon the house, the one that's founded on the rock, the one that is founded upon the sand. When we look at the rain, the floods, we can look at these and realize they are just normal life occurrences. You know, rain can bring refreshing life. I mean, it's what gives flowers the ability to bloom is what gives the fruit trees the ability to bear fruit. It's what gives the, the farms the ability to produce the crops that you and I eat. So rain is a beautiful thing. I mean, we need rain to water the earth so that you and I can have water to drink. 
But on the flip side of that, while rain can be refreshing, rain can also be destructive. We see too much rain or too much rain too quickly turns into floods that can destroy the crops, that can destroy the grass, that can destroy even dams that are built to hold back the water so you and I can drink it. So rain can be both, yes, refreshing, but it also can be destructive. We see, and it rain descended and the floods came, and the winds blew. Think about that. The wind in the summertime when it's hot is refreshing. Just a nice breeze as it blows across your face. Uh, I've done many years of landscaping and lawn care, and uh, I've always said many times when I'm hot, I'm sweaty, and then you get that breeze, it's like air conditioned from heaven. You just thank God, thank you for that breeze, because it's so refreshing, it begins to cool you off, but you let the winds crank up to hurricane force strength, 60, 70, crank up to 120, 150 miles per hour, and those same refreshing winds become absolutely destructive. You say, what exactly are you saying here? What I'm saying to you is, Jesus said, there's two people. They have the choice to build their house on two types of foundations. Who are the two people? You, me, whoever's listening. We are one of these two people. The rain and the floods and the wind are natural occurrences of life. Sometimes it's the good days. When it's just a little bit of rain, it's refreshing. It's a little bit of wind, it's refreshing. Sometimes it's bad days. It's hard trials. It's severe trials. It's persecution. It's why is this evil happening? Why did this situation happen? I don't understand what is going on in my life. That is life. And Jesus said, regardless, life is going to come at you. The rains are going to come. The floods are going to come. The winds are going to come. And they're going to do what? They're going to beat upon the house. The house represents our life. And so the natural occurrences of life, whether good or bad, are going to beat, they're going to pound, they're going to find their way into our life each and every day. And he says, the difference is this, if it was founded upon a rock, the house did not fall. The same winds, the same uh, uh, floods, the same rains beat upon the other house, and it said it fell. And it not only said that, the Bible said it was great was the fall of it. Think about that. It wasn't just a fall, but great was the fall of it. It's interesting. Both of these people had the opportunity to hear the exact same teachings of Jesus. As he said this, every single person in that audience heard the same teachings. They all had the same opportunity. But Jesus said, it is what you do with what you hear. It's what difference does it make to you? You can hear it, but does it make a difference? You can hear the teachings, but you have to ask yourself, what difference does this make? Is it important? How can I apply it to my life? What do I need to do different? We need to ask those things. And so Jesus gives this illustration here. He says, either you build your house upon a rock, which is me, it's my teachings, you're going to keep it there, or you build your house upon the sand. And I said, it's interesting, it says, great was the fall of it. Why? Because, listen, they both built. They both had a house. They both, both had a life. What is this? They're both believers or what appear to be believers, appear to be Christians living the Christian life, living their faith. But one of them was founded upon a rock. They were a true follower of Jesus Christ. They took their next step. They were growing in their faith. The other person appeared to be doing that, but was not. They had all the externals. Everything looked the same. If you looked at both of these people, you would not know any difference until the hard times come, until the challenges come, until the trials of life come, and they will come. Jesus said they will come. And if you've lived long enough, you know you're going to face hard times. Being a believer, being a Christian, does not dismiss you or dismiss me from uh, being uh, under uh, trials, uh, decisions of other people affecting us adversely. Uh, We're not immune to evil, bottom line. And so what difference does it make? It makes a tremendous difference on where you base your life. It makes a tremendous difference on how you apply the truth of God's Word. And that's what Jesus was saying. You can hear the same thing, but it's how you apply. So as we move forward in this upcoming year, we're going to keep bringing to our mind this idea. or We'll keep asking this question, especially as we go through the attributes of God. What difference does this make? 
How can this be different in my life? What, what, what's important about it? What do I need to do? And I think it all boils down to this application. We don't ever want to just have the, the teachings, the, the truth of God's Word, just to become ap- academic in our mind or just to be something we're reading. But it has to be something we're doing. Because Jesus said, look, whoever hears the saying of mine and does them, I will liken him unto a man which built his house upon a rock. He's a wise man, and his house is going to stand. And the same other person, I mean, that hears these same sayings of mine and does them not, shall be likened to a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. So the difference is, what difference does it make? The difference is, the in, between these two people was the application of God's Word. And so as we move forward, we'll begin to ask that question. As we jump on our episode on Thursday, we're going to ask it a little bit different. So what difference does it make? But Thursday's episode, what difference does it make in the lives of others? Join with us then. Thank you for taking the time to listen. If this podcast has been helpful to you, we would love for you to share it with a friend or subscribe so that you can stay up to date on the latest studies. You can connect with Collegians for Christ online for more information and resources at cfccampusministry.com.